What if I tell you, you can have a device that is portable enough that you can carry it around everywhere you go like a tablet and it is powerful enough to run AAA titles without a problem. Let's review ASUS Rockflow Z13. and welcome back to Binosha Tech channel. I'm Amin Khaliqi and today we are gonna review Asus ROG Flow Z13 and I gotta say, it is one of the most interesting devices I've ever reviewed. Just look at this form factor. You have a tablet like a Surface Pro and you can play Cyberpunk at high frame rates without a problem with this device. And I gotta say, I'm in love with it. Inside this slick chassis, we've got the brand new AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus 395 APU and our model is configured with 32GB of RAM but you can spec it up to a whopping 64GB or even 128GB of RAM which can be a lot better than this model because uh, you can get better frame rates and better performance with higher RAM amount and I will talk about it later in the video. My first impression, I absolutely love it. It's the perfect device to carry around when you need a true powerhouse that fits in a backpack or it can easily be carried around with the included rugged sleeve. But is it the right device for you? Let's find out. First, let's talk about body and chassis design. Asus has done a fantastic job here, but let's be clear, this thing shots gaming, the sharp angles, the sci-fi inspired itchings and this beautiful RGB window that gives you a peek at the PCB inside. It's a tech enthusiastic dream. But I have to say, I wish they'd make a non-gaming version too. This is such a capable machine that I know creatives and professionals would love to have. But the aesthetic might be a bit too intense for other people. Now for the practical stuff, we've got the power and volume buttons and also we have another button that can uh, open a menu that you can access Armor Crate through that menu and for ports it's surprisingly generous for a tablet on the side. Uh, you get two USB Type-C ports, both supports USB 4 at 40 gigabits per second which is great and also we have USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 at 10 gigabits per second, which is great. You also get a full-size HDMI 2.1 port and a micro SD card reader that's more than you can get on most Ultrabooks or even some gaming laptops. Like we reviewed HP Victus 2025 and that laptop had weaker and less ports than this model, which is just insane to see. We also have an audio combo jack that can output good audio quality, which is great. The kickstand on the back is solid with great rigidity, allowing you to set it at almost any angle. And what about the keyboard? It's built into the tablet cover and features single zoom RGB backlighting. In my opinion, the typing feel is actually a bit better and more substantial than keyboards on a Microsoft Surface Pro. The trackpad is a bit on the small size, but given the form factor, it's perfectly usable. Now for the weight. The tablet alone is about 1.2 kilograms. Add the keyboard cover and you're at 1.6 kilograms. That's heavy for a tablet this size. And if you bring the included 200 watt charging brick, you're looking at around 2.1 kilograms, which, for a tablet is insanely heavy. But considering this is a full-fledged PC and you will get lots of ports and practicality out of this machine, it's a great machine and I can't give it less than 10 out of 10 score. Okay, let's talk about the screen. We have a 2.5K 180Hz screen here with 13.4 inch screen. And I gotta say, it has great color accuracy around uh, 100 sRGB color coverage and more than 90% Adobe color coverage. But as you can see on the screen, we have a reflective screen here because this screen has touch input. And also, if you want to buy an Asus pen, you can use pen on this device too and 
I think it can be one of the best options for you if you are a digital creator, digital painter. Because you can easily use any application you want like Adobe Photoshop and uh, do your job without a problem because this laptop has full-fledged windows and it can't sweat even under AAA titles. So Photoshop is like eating pure water for it. My only critic on this screen, I wish it were an OLED panel for those perfect blacks. But this is still one of the best IPS displays you'll find on any tablet. For the display, it gets a solid 9 out of 10 score. Okay, before getting to performance section, I should say, if you want to buy this laptop, you can use our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And for my favorite part, performance. As I said earlier, this laptop has AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus 395... I hate this naming, first of all, I should say it. And I will call this CPU, or should I say APU, Ryzen 395. As easy as it gets. Or if you want to add AI really bad and you have to do it, Ryzen AI 395. What is Max Plus means? And I love this 395. That is like in your life you hate someone's name but you love their personality. And this is the fact about this CPU. I love everything about this CPU or should I say APU <laughs> except the naming. And 395, Ryzen 395 is the most interesting uh, APU or should I say CPU or APU in any computer this year in my opinion i mean this is the only chip we get on windows machines that can compete that can really compete with apple's m4 max or m4 pro which is great we also have 32 gigabytes of ram at 8000 mega transfer per second uh, which is great and as i said earlier you can get 64 or 128 gigabytes of ram models and that models should be around 10 to 15 percent uh, faster in some scenarios like gaming or some uh, wo creative workloads. But other than that, this is a perfect machine for the price. I mean, uh, we are talking about $2,000 for this machine with this spec, which is good in my opinion. We also get AMD Radeon 8060S integrated GPU for this laptop or should I say tablet, and this is just interesting to see that this integrated graphic can perform as good as an RTX 4060 laptop. I was just completely impressed. This little machine chews through games and demanding applications like nothing else its size. With its full metal chassis, it can get pretty hot to the touch, especially when you are pushing it hard, but thermal throttling is not an issue here. The heat management is excellent, just make sure you're using it with the kickstand open to give the fans the best possible airflow. As for the benchmarks, I'm happy to tell you that the ASUS ROG Flow Z13 delivers the best performance we've ever seen out of any 13-inch PC. This is just fascinating to witness. Like in Cinemage 2024, we got uh, almost 25,000 scores on the multi-core, which is great. I mean, this is Core Ultra 7 level performance which is great to see. And we also tested uh, Cinemage 2024. We got 110 S-Core on the single core and uh, almost 1300 S-Core on the multi-core, which is again great to see. And as for the Geekbench, we got almost 18,000 S-Cores, which is, I think, uh, the best score we got on any AMD CPU. And we also tested Time Spy to see how well it can perform in 3D applications and games, and we got almost 10,000 scores. This Time Spy score is around RTX 4050 to RTX 4060 level performance, or uh, with newer hardware, I should say, around RTX 50-50 performance, which is good. Uh, as for the Blender, we got 1350 score. It is a bit slow uh, because uh, it doesn't have NVIDIA graphics in it, and this Blender benchmarks is too relied on the NVIDIA graphics card. As for the Steel Nomad, we got 2008 score, which is good, and uh, we also tested uh, these benchmarks 
with the included 100 watt type 2 charger uh, which is interesting to see because this laptop had an additional 100 watt uh, type C charger in the box an additional headset asus rock gaming headset in the box uh, additional gaming mouse rock impact mouse which is just interesting to see because this model in our region is around uh, two thousand dollars and they're giving us uh, 200 to 250 dollar worth of accessories which is interesting to see as for the results with uh, included 100 watt uh, charger uh, we got around the same scores in time spy and uh, around the same score on still nomad uh, which is fascinating to see as for adobe applications and content creation workloads uh, we got six minutes and 28 seconds in adobe premiere and four minutes and 33 seconds in adobe after effects it is a bit low, but it is actually good consider the AMD CPU with AMD GPU in this laptop. I mean, um, AMD CPUs and GPUs are not that optimized for Adobe applications. As for the SSD speed, we got 6.1 GB for the read and 5.3 GB for the write, which is good, but I think we should get more than 6 GB if we are paying about two thousand dollars on a laptop and this is the least we can get okay let's talk about some game benchmarks uh, we tested cyber 2077 in uh, seven different scenarios and we can get up to 100 fps in average which is good uh, but if you want to play this game uh, with more than 60 fps you have to enable fsr 3.1 frame generation uh, which is a bit disappointing, but uh, it is okay for this laptop for this kind of device and I have to say uh, You can uh, change the amount of VRAM you want to give to your GPU You can change the amount uh, with 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes or even 16 gigabytes But because we have the 16 gigabytes version here you can't uh, choose uh, 16 gigabytes to get better performance i mean you expect to get better performance uh, by giving 16 gigabytes of uh, ram to your graphics card but you can't get it because uh, most games in these days uh, will use more than 16 gigabytes of ram on your device and because of that you may get into trouble because uh, the device can't handle uh, these games with under 16 gigabytes of RAM. But the perfect uh, amount you can get to your iGPU is 8 gigabytes for the VRAM and 24 gigabytes for the device RAM. And this is the best you can get in this laptop. I gotta say, with 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes, you can get uh, better frame rates or better performance in all of these games. But these are good scores too. We also tested Rainbow Six Siege in six different scenarios, Ultra Plus, High, Low, and all of them in FHD Plus. And in all different scenarios, we got good results, like uh, we can get up to 200 in 2K resolution, and uh, we can get to 350 FPS in FHD, which is good. We also tested Fragpunk in four different scenarios, and because Fragpoint is a CPU demanding title, uh, you can get easily one of the best scores because the CPU on this machine is just powerful. Uh, we also tested Red Dead Redemption 2 in this machine and I gotta say Red Dead loves AMD CPUs and GPUs. And because of that, we can get 113 FPS in average. We also tested Shadow of the Tomb Raider in this machine and in two different scenarios we got great results, 70 FPS in average and 100 FPS in benchmark FHD, uh, which is good. And we also tested Wokong in three different scenarios, recommended, low, and cinematic. And you can get 166 FPS in average in this game, which is good. We also tested Marvel Rivals in this laptop, and we get uh, almost 63 FPS in average in ultra, and 80 FPS in average in low, which is good. For the performance, consider the four factor of this laptop, I have to give it a 10 out of 10 score. But I know if you want to spend $2,000 to play games or get the best performance possible, you can get a lot of better options at this price. I mean, you can get some laptops 
with 5070 Ti, but they are not as portable as this machine. Okay, let's talk about speakers, webcam, and battery life. About the speakers, they are decent. They are not the best, but they are decent. And if you want to play uh, some music for yourself or uh, watch some uh, YouTube videos, it is good and it will get the job done for you. So this is the webcam quality of Asus ROG Flow Z13. What do you think about it? It has a 5 megapixel camera on the front and 8 megapixel on the back. It can uh, record up to 1440p resolution uh, with the front camera. And I can say I kind of like it. What do you think about it? Tell us in the comments below. This is the camera quality with the rear camera. What do you think about it? Hossein, do you like it? Yeah, of course I like it. Portable. And also tell us uh, about the mic quality for the rear camera. Battery life is also good. It is not perfect, but it is good. Which is a norm thing to say about the efficiency of these AMD CPUs. You can definitely get better endurance out of devices with less power hungry CPUs like HX370 or Ryzen 7 350. But managing to fit a 70 watt hour battery into this form factor is a huge engineering win. So, what's the final verdict on the ASUS ROG Flow Z13? I can honestly say I love this device, but it's definitely not for everyone. If you're someone who needs a thin and light machine but refuses to compromise on power, if you want the best possible performance with the best possible portability all in one package, then this is it. This is the one you have to get. But at this starting price, around $2,000, it's a serious investment. For that money, you can get a much more powerful, but also a much heavier traditional gaming laptop. The Flow Z13 is a unique device for its own category. And as I said, it is not for everyone. But if you are on the market for this laptop, you can get it from our Amazon affiliate link in the description below. And also, what do you think about Asus ROG Flow Z13? Do you want to buy it or not? I really love it, but I don't think I have to buy it. Tell us your opinion about this device in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.